Hi subscribers, what's up? It's Vivs from SlideNote here. In this video, I'm gonna talk about XML DOM parsing example from TechCrunch RSS feeds and we're gonna work out how to retrieve the data that we have established so far in our previous videos. Now if you guys remember, in our code, we printed out the data that we had so far on Eclipse by using the appropriate log.d statements. We retrieved everything, even the second media thumbnail tag that we wanted to precisely display now the question is how are you going to return this data back into your app and that's exactly what we are going to take a look at in this video so let's go here and take a look at what we have here inside the process xml method there is our first for loop which loops through all the items that are available then our second for loop loops through the stuff contained inside each item that is the tags within each item so what we want is we can have several arrays one of the things that we can store all the titles from all the items all the pub dates all the descriptions and that would require several arrays a better approach is to use a hash map now if you guys haven't used a hash map before don't worry about it hash map is a special type of data structure that takes two values one is called the key the other is called the value it's like saying this when you're storing the data you say red color is hash f00 Later, when you want to retrieve the data, you ask what is red and it tells you hash f00. So that's what a hash map is. So let's go ahead and make our hash map here. I'm going to say hash map. Now this is going to take two different values. Now we got to make sure that we specify the types of both these values. We want both of them to be a string over here. So I'm going to say hash map string comma string and I'll call this current map over here. And of course I'll make it null for now because within our for loop where we have all the items that are getting processed we need the hash map to store data for each item in other words we want the title the pub date the description the media thumbnail of one item then we want to repeat it for all the other items so inside our first for loop where we are processing each item i'll initialize our hash map by saying current map equals to the new hash map so now that i have the hash map initialized over here I can add what I want inside this hash map. For example, I can go inside this place where we find the title. I can say current map dot put. Now this is going to ask us the key. Let's keep the key as title. Put the value as the current child dot get text content, which means get the contents of the title tag and store that inside the hash map with this key called title. So later when you say current map dot get title it will return this value that we just stored over here so the same way we are going to store the pub date the description and our url attribute as well so let me go ahead and do that so now if you take a look at the code wherever i had log statements i've simply put those values inside our hash map title the pub date the description and our image url over here now if you want I will display the hash map so that you guys can understand what is going on. So outside our for loop where we are done processing our hash map I'm going to go here and I'm going to say log.m and I'll simply display our hash map here by saying current map. Now let's take a look at what this prints on the screen. So now if you take a look at the output here take a look pub date equals to this image URL equals to this description equals that and title equals to this and everything is getting stored so what exactly is happening if you see this outside for loop processes each item so here I'm initializing the hash map which means I'm creating a new hash map for every single item tag that we have inside our XML RSS feed now within the other for loop this one is responsible for processing each tag within our item so if you go to the source here if you take the item tags and if you take a look at that so here is our first item so I initialize one hash map for the first item I used to put the title the pub date the description and the image URL inside that hash map now I'm gonna need several such hash map objects because I have several such items inside my RSS list that's exactly what is going on so what I'm gonna do is create an array list that's gonna store hash maps here so I'm gonna say array list here now this array list will contain a hash map which can be specified over here. This hash map will be of type string comma string because it should match with what we already have. And then I'll call this results over here and I'll just initialize that by saying new array list. So in other words for 
every item whatever hash map we have just put that inside this array list so that all the hash maps are stored so go here at the bottom where the for loop ran where we printed our current map right here if the hash map is not null then only we add it so let's say if current map not equals to null we check that and we also check if it's not empty and I'm saying current map dot is empty is false which I can directly put by an exclamation mark over here then I will add that to our results by saying results dot add and I'll simply add the current map inside so now the results object contains everything so take a look at that outside I have the results object initialized within each item over here I'm creating a new hash map and I'm simply adding that hash map to our array list that gives us the total results now of course at this point we gotta go here and return this result back so I'm gonna go and make the return type as array list hash map string string over here so there you go that's our return type of process XML which is an array list that is containing different hash maps where each hash map contains all the data for one particular item so go above here inside our doing background method where we call our process XML again here we are gonna need our array list so I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say array list and just initialize it the same way over there so now inside our do in background method I have our array list which has been initialized and this is gonna contain the results that were generated by the method process XML which is the same type that we have over here now we want to return these results back from our doing background so if I say return results here I'll have to change the type of our doing background method because it is initially returning void over here this is the params this is the progress the third parameter is the results so here I'm gonna have to make it an array list hash map inside our async task so that it can return a result back to the user so that is gonna be the return type out there and of course I'll have to copy paste this entire thing again make sure that I don't keep typing it all the time so there you go there's our results being returned from our doing background now we can have an on post execute right here inside which we can print that result and we can see what happens so here inside our on post execute I'll use my log statement now and I'll simply print the result so that you guys can see and of course I'll convert that to a string here and we don't need the other log statements right now so we can go ahead and remove all the other log statements that we have written so let's take a look at this and see if the results are being displayed or not so now if you take a look at our output over here pub date is equals to this image URL equals to that description equals to the whole thing that you see over here and somewhere in this mess there's also the title that you can see over here and that repeats for all the elements that we have which means this is working perfectly so we have successfully managed to return data if you guys haven't understood let me go again once again before we stop this video here we have the outside for loop which contains all the items that we want now inside the for loop over here we are talking about one particular item that's why I have current item written over here so for every item make a new hash map now the second for loop deals with getting all the tags within a single item tag so inside this put the title put the publish date put the description put the attribute over here and of course go outside back here where we are processing each item add that hash map to our array list that is the big list containing all the hash maps for all the items together simply return that here change the return type of your doing background from all the places and inside the on post execute I have tried to print the results but this is not gonna be enough we are gonna display this data inside a list view and we are gonna do that in the upcoming videos in the meantime if you guys do like what you saw please like this video share this video subscribe to slide nerd and let us know your thoughts in the comment boxes below thanks for watching I'll catch you guys in the next video have a nice day